Making videos on a Chromebook is a possibility. There are several ways of doing it, but WeVideo is probably the most polished and has uh, one of the best free versions out there. So before we get started, if you like written directions for doing things, this is probably where you'd want to go. mbcurl.me forward slash 1291D. That will take you to this slideshow, which has screenshots of how to do all the different things that I'm going to talk about in this video. And to get started, I will actually use one of these slides since I already have this added to my drive. To add it, you'll go to New, More, Connect More Apps, you'll search for Wii Video, and you'll click Connect. Then it will show up underneath the More section right here. So that's how you get it. So if I go back to my drive, and I go to New, More, you'll find Wii Video down there. And the reason to go through this way, Wii Video does have a website, but if you go through this route, then you don't have to worry about logins or anything like that. It's just going to take you right to video. So to get started you actually need to make a project and then underneath that project you create videos. So I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to title it Theme for Video. Create and then underneath that project here I will click create new video. So now it's going to open up the We Video Editor. And it might ask you some questions when you first get started based on your skill and experience with using video editing software. Just be honest, it'll give you the layout that's going to be the easiest for you to use. So if you've had more experience, you're going to have a more advanced layout like you'll see here. And if you uh, don't have a lot of experience, you'll get more of a storyboard layout. So here's the general look of WeVideo. You have your timeline down here where if you clicked up in the settings, you can switch to storyboard mode. And that really streamlines things. It, you just drag and drop and you can add music and, and things in there. So that's the view there. On the left side you have your media and you have project media. And this is where you'll either record yourself, your webcam, or you can upload videos as well. You also have any backgrounds that you can add in. And then you have titles that you can add in as well. For adding videos of your own, if you have them to add in, or pictures, when you click Upload Media, you get some different options. You can either upload them from a hard drive, or you can import, and one of the options is Google Drive. So if you click on Google Drive, it will ask you for permission. So you want to accept that. And then you're able to choose photos and videos that are housed in Google Drive. So then you can just pull them right in, and that's really nice and easy to do that. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to see every single folder that either you have access to or someone else has access to. And that gets to be a little bit of a pain. But if you see your drive there, you can click into that and then you'll just use, you'll see your stuff. I'm just going to grab a random screenshot and select. So now it's uploading that. And processing, you can upload more here. And by using Drive, you should be able to select by holding down the control key more than one at a time. And then they start to come in. And then you can go ahead and close out of this while that works. You don't necessarily need to have this open and they'll upload and they should go into my media as they load so there's one of my screenshots there's another one there and then to use on the storyboard you just click the plus and it drops it in and then 
you can drag things to rearrange. So if I wanted these things in a different order, I could just click and drag and rearrange them like that. Some of the other options then specifically on the pictures. If you click edit, you can edit caption. You can do some rotations and flips. And you can add just a general basic animation to it. There are also some effects you can add. So these are pretty basic ones that you can apply. So they're pretty neat. You can play around with that a little bit. You can add music on the left side. So there's a bunch of built-in audio. Or, of course, you can upload your own as well. And you can also record a voiceover. So if you have pictures, you can record a voiceover of what's happening on your timeline. So that's also really cool to have that. So that is the timeline view. If or sorry, the storyboard view. If you go down in settings, you have timeline mode. And in timeline mode, things look a little different. You've got different lines, so you can actually add multiple layers. And that's a good way to, let's say, if you've got a video that you just need the audio from, you could have that behind what you actually want to show. Or if a picture doesn't take up all of the screen, you could actually put something behind it that would show up. So this is a little more advanced just because you've got a lot more parts moving on, more parts to deal with. It's not super slick as you can see, it's kind of bouncing things around as I try and, and move things together. So you just have to finesse it a little bit and pay attention to what you're doing. So that part's a downside, so just be careful of that as you as you play around with this and try to get it to work. Because you'd obviously like them all in the same timeline, preferably. So just take your time and do that. And if you want to get rid of something from your timeline, you just drag it up here and it will go away. All right. So now all these things should be on the same timeline here. There we go. So then you click back to the beginning and play. There's that music I put in that's playing. And then it's going to flip through my pictures. And then for that audio, you can control the sound of that by tuning it down there. You can also play around with some other features of it as well. It's not a whole lot you can do, but a little bit. Right. If you have a video to use, so let's say I have this video clip. All right, and I'll move this to the end. If I can. There we go. All right. So click play on that, it plays through. You've got a few more options with videos because you can cut them. And you can do that right here. So you can click and drag to shorten the clip. Using these handles. Or if you're in the middle of it, you can split it using the scissors tool, like that. And then some of the editing options you have for a video, you have the same animations option. You can add a caption to it, just like that. You can do some rotating with it, 
change the size. You can change the position of it. And then you can play with the colors a little bit. So there are several different options there. And once again, here's a feature that's only available in paid accounts. This is actually for green screening right here. So that's a pretty cool feature, but that's only in paid accounts. So that's generally how you play around with this timeline feature. With this magnetic snap option, uh, that's what allows things to kind of snap to the lines beautifully. You do have these themes here, and the themes generally change the music option that's by default, and the colors, and the titles that you get. So as you can see, my title changed there. And now it's remixing my video as I want to preview it. And it also changed my music to this new theme. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be playing around with that, you probably, if you want different music, you would want to change that after the fact. All right, so now let's say you are all done and you are ready to go. You would click on Publish. You would give it a name. And then by default, it publishes in 720p HD. You have 7 minutes and 30 seconds of export time a month. And you will get a watermark at the end that says we video. Not much you can do about that with the free version. And you do have up to 5 gigabytes of storage, which would take a lot to fill up. But if you're using this a lot, you could run into that. So now once you have that set, you simply go down and publish video. And now it's publishing. And you actually will get this published to your Google Drive when it is done. 